So, yeah, so to go back to your question, the spiritual journey. So I lived in Hong Kong for about eight years, and while I was there, um, I started a company called Vision Quest, but it had nothing to do with vision. It had to do with finding your voice, um, and it was to do with... I worked with women, mostly, um, who were... <laughs> in corporate, in corporate um, business and the thing that I kept hearing um, was that they'd be in a boardroom sitting around the table and often they're the only one and they would say something fabulous and nobody would hear them and the guy next to them mm. would hear it and he would say it and then get all get the, credit the credit for it. And I'm sure he didn't maybe do it maliciously or whatever, but it happened over and over again to different women. Yeah. And I thought, this has to stop. Mm. I can't handle it. So a lot of my students in, in Hong Kong were women right. and women in very um, powerful positions in different corporations and companies. And I helped them to understand how you breathe and how you speak to get your point across so that people listen to you. Um, and with that comes not just the voice work of course it it is a very spiritual thing it's a spiritual yeah. journey it's an awakening for everybody and it was wonderful because i got the most beautiful letters and cards from these people you know saying oh my work it changed my working life i thought i'd hit the seal you know the glass ceiling and i've now gone off i've started my own job I've my own company i'm doing all this and it was wonderful it was so fulfilling and have you written satis a book about this part no uh, this needs Not to be yet. written really oh, yeah, yeah definitely yeah well, global success with that one. one i mean yeah. you've got so you've got all the cheryl sandberg and um is it cheryl sandberg that did lean in yes i mean i don't think that's necessarily it, I think what uh, you're talking yes. about is, yeah. yeah it's, it's the empowerment, yeah. well, it's the voice of yeah. women. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Not the, I mean, of course, when you start working on your voice, all your shit comes up. <laughs> of course it does. All your shit comes up. So you think you've dealt with crap in the past. You start fiddling with your voice and it comes Well, darling, up. it's we're work, isn't it's it? We talk about yes, it. Yes, 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 yes. Wow. Yeah. Because, like I said, in opera, we use the two diaphragms. I mean, maybe in pop music, people don't need to. They might. They don't probably need to. But in opera, we do. We, you, because you sing in an opera uh, house, which is the orchestra in the pit, it's nothing is mic'd, um, the acoustics are usually fantastic, but you use both your diaphragms, and so people go, but you don't have to, and I'm going, well, yeah, you, actually, you have the pelvic diaphragm, yeah. um, and that's what women have to practice when they've had babies, I don't know, I haven't had any, but I believe that that's the bit that they need, right. that goes, yeah, yeah. yeah so, so stretched, yeah. so that's what we <laughs> use to sing with, you see, right. we push yeah. pull that, and so you pull that, and, and then obviously you work with your, your diaphragm in the middle, yeah. a lot of women say that yeah. their voice changes after they've had children, yeah, yeah, yeah because yeah. of that, I'm yeah. sure, I mean singers as well, you yeah. know, singers, um, when they sing, and they, they are pregnant, yeah. they sing, fantastically well yeah. you know yeah they, they they always talk about how the voice just pops out wow. from nowhere it's because everything you know and then it changes after the baby was born right? so i remember when um a really good friend of mine one of my best friends was having her she was having twins okay and she is a singer oh gosh and she was a sort of a jazz singer from a, her father was a jazz musician right. so she'd been kind of singing blues and jazz yeah, yeah. And, and and stuff for her whole life and I got to be there with her. It was like 36 hours of the birth. Oh. And they, they were amazing, actually. It was a, a place down in, um, near Dulwich, the hospital. Right. And they just allowed a whole load of us to be in wow. the, in the um, suite with her. That's unusual. It was really unusual. Yeah. So her husband was there, her husband's mm. father-in-law, uh, another couple of female friends. And because she, we, you know, she was determined to do it all naturally. Yeah. And so for a huge part of it, for hours of the thing, we were just, we were kind of massaging her back and, and she was kind of wandering around and she was just chanting. She was mm. just intoning because every time one of the um, contractions. contractions came up, yeah. she just, yeah. Um, she let out this voice. Yes. That, I mean, <laughs> It was mesmerizing, yeah. terrifying, yeah. beautiful, yeah. ecstatic, primal, yeah. primal. Yeah. primal. It was absolutely. Yes. Like she was just like, oh, this is <laughs> that was literally yeah. reverberating off the walls. And I Amazing. remember at one point, 
you know, one of the midwives that was with us, who'd been with yeah. us for a long, and obviously they changed shifts, so she kind of got used to it, you know, yeah. we'd obviously started off, you yeah. know, and, yeah. and, and, and she's in full flows, and I just remember this other one walking in, and we're all pacing around with her, you know, <laughs> loving her, and she's like, Whoa! and the other midwife walks in, she's like, what is going on in here? That's what I walked into. It was so bridal. But it was incredible, actually. Yes. And I remember that it eased so much. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Instead of, and you know, and obviously yeah. I work with um, midwives teaching them how to do hypnosis yeah. for, for, for birth. And one of the things about a contraction is that the fear of the pain yes. makes people contract. Yes, yes, you yes. You yes. know, it's, it's, oh, this is going to hurt. Especially yeah. because we're programmed to believe that that's what's going to happen. Right. Instead of saying, working which with it, it, instead of working with, with it, which we're doing and hypnosis, really is to go, okay, well, your contraction is a thing that's taking you closer to your baby, so it's a beautiful thing. So yes. embrace it, share yeah. it, and flow with it. Yeah. And that's exactly what she was doing. Yes. As her body was moving, she, she just moved. moved with it. It was like yes. a wave of sound. Yes. That See, she there. understood it, though, because she, she was a singer. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. she was just releasing yeah. and expressing. Yeah. It was incredible. Wow. Fantastic. And that was an amazing. Yeah. I bet you it's also an amazing a memory and um, experience for her babies. Yes. Because yeah. the babies would have heard that. Yes. Well, one of them is now, uh, I mean, actually, he does ballroom dancing and he is, I mean, he c probably could be world level wow. piano. Yes. Uh, uh, That's probably who you see. Maybe oh, maybe it was yeah. someone, yeah. said someone who's passed. Well, I thought, but who knows? No. It, yes. could be, it could be Stanley coming through, yeah. just honouring you. But uh, yeah. yeah, so the music. Wow. And the other, yeah. and the other one actually is going to be an actor. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's very much in tune. Yes, with yes. His. So voice, I, I think voice. you know, in that moment, as they were coming into the yes. world, yes. sound was yes. such a massive part yeah. of their journey. Yeah. It was, yeah. you know, they were so supported. Yes. In that. So it's got to have opened stuff of up for them as well. well and they're done. both highly creative. Yes. Highly, highly yeah. creative. I'm not surprised yeah. in the slightest. Yeah. What a wonderful experience. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. And I mean, and I know I've had my own journey with my voice because I think so many people say, don't they, when they hear the sound of their own voice, mm. they don't, they they don't it. like it, they hate it. Mm. And I know I always hated mine. Yeah. And then I grew up in South London and there was a period of time when I was contemplating doing acting and I, I met this acting coach actually through my ex-husband. Right. And met him at parties socially and he was terribly, you know, he'd, he'd been a, a, you know, he'd been a voice coach and a director. Okay. And we met and I was doing lots of work for L'Oreal at the time. Mm -hmm. I was doing lots of presentations and things. Right. And we met and he said, darling, I love you. And he was actually very spiritual. So we had this amazing conversation. He said, I love you. He said, but there's just one thing. I am not having you going anywhere near any stage with a voice like that, darling. It's <laughs> <laughs> just not happening. It's not happening. <laughs> No, 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 no. He was absolutely right. Because Why? in South London, you talk like that. It tends to be a in bit it, like kind of dropping your thing, didn't you? Do you know what I mean? But hang on. I hang was on. very cockney. So? Look at EastEnders, I darling. Know, yes, I know, but I didn't want to be on EastEnders. Oh, I see. Oh, you that being the point. I, mean, oh, I, was, I, I was a presenter for oh, L'Oreal. Okay. I was I doing these. Yeah. And so it would be different if I was playing character roles. Yes. But yes. I wasn't. Okay. And so he said, right, I don't care what's going on. You're coming to me once a week. So oh, I started what? doing voice coaching. Oh, wow. And I was yeah. doing the elocution lesson. Yeah. And he was extraordinary. And, of course, and so I was, you know training and yeah. working to round the vowels yes. and round and round, round the round about <laughs> and you know years yeah. I actually studied with him for years oh wow yeah and then oh, I really? eventually did some acting stuff with him yeah. as well he, I mean, oh god I mean I just I, he's he passed so he's no longer with us um, but he was just the most darling man and I absolutely oh, adored him yeah. we, and we definitely had a past life thing yeah but now what's really bizarre is that because I made some uh, recordings, some uh, hypnosis CDs, mm. and it's the funniest thing because I can actually listen to those, and not that I don't trust other people, but I like to know exactly what's being said. And sometimes <laughs> in those CDs, you, you, yeah. you zone out, so I don't know what the person's saying. So I need to know that it's exactly what I need to hear. Yeah. So, uh, you know, OCD or anything. <laughs> so I know. <laughs> that, <laughs> <laughs> so I know that the wording on mine is exactly what I would need, which you know. Yeah general for what most people would know. Yeah. But in the past I know I would not have been able to listen to my voice. Mm -hmm. But yeah. because it's not it's it's a different level. It's so it's it is me, but it's another me. Yeah. It's a it's a me that was Yeah, you're you know, opening to yeah. that. Yeah. 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 And actually it's very funny, my sister said many years ago when I was first training, I tried to do some uh, I, 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 I tried to get her to listen to bits and pieces and she just wouldn't have it. She just laughed her socks. Oh, she really? She not have it at yeah. all. But as time has gone on and I've developed 
not just the voice he created, but I've had to learn to use my voice in a completely different way. way. Yes, of course. So that's altered it and yes, shifted it. Would. Shifted it again, and yes. I found that voice now. Even she said that she was able to listen to me. She came back to me. She said, "Oh my god, I actually listened, and it was really good." And I really relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> so I know you're on Twitter. I know exactly. I went to a huge compliment. She was able to listen to them. But oh. so it's really important, isn't it? It and is. Again, really it's important. that same thing. How much attention mm. do people give to what they wear? Mm. Yes. To their outfits yeah. and to what they look like yeah. and to their hair yeah. and to you know exactly everything that's going yeah. on on the outside. Yeah. And yet. It is. I mean, this is the shop front, mm -hmm. but that's the content. Yes. This is this is yeah. what your. This is everything, isn't it? Yeah. The, the well, it is your is most the, com, your most important communication tool because the minute you answer the phone or you call someone for the first time, that's yeah. how they connect with you. Exactly. At first, yes, it's the, your voice. Yeah. Often. Everyone has their telephone voice, darling. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> my mother. Hello, Barbara Women speaking. Yeah, my father's telephone <laughs> voice so was the best. So Australian. If the phone <laughs> rang and it was someone from work, mm. my father would pick up the phone and he'd go, Hello, what have you got here? And he would literally drop several octaves Love. before he spoke. Love. And not that he has a high pitched voice on any level, but his work voice. Which I actually remember thinking was brilliant. Oh, yeah. His work persona was not his home persona. Oh, like oh wow, okay. Because I could never work out how he could just switch off from the work thing, which yeah. just seemed to be yeah. able to do yeah. really well. So it was the same thing, he had a yeah, different same. voice when yeah. he was at work. Yeah. Tony does that too. Does that? Yeah, like I'll ring him at work, and he's, I think it's because he's aware other people oh, yeah, are listening yeah, too, yeah. but it's all very official. And I'm yes. like, what have you done with my husband? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> on here. Where's this such a crazy, silly larrikin? Yeah. Where's this serious person? Yeah. What are you talking about? But yeah. I suppose on the phone, it's true, isn't it? People can't see you. It's the same yeah. as a, like yeah. a recording. Yeah. yeah. It's you're yeah. you're having to present much more. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and even the voice, yeah. even a voice message on your phone. Yeah. You don't yeah. think, do you, really? Yeah. About how important how that is. Yeah. Very important. Yeah. And the thing is, also, I think. Um, like you said, people don't think about the mm. voice. They don't think about it at all. I've forgotten completely what I was going to say. Um, this happens a lot on this show. Yeah. Like, yeah. We can't we right. yeah. No, but we were talking about how important it is that people actually pay attention and do work. Do the, the work voice. with the voice. Do the work. Yes. Not just work on the outside, but, but also do the work with yeah. the voice. Absolutely. It really is important. And I think the reason people hate their voice so much when they first mm. hear it is because of course, when you speak, nobody can hear your voice the way it sounds to you. Right. Nobody can, yeah. because you hear it through the bones and the liquid in your head and your face. Yeah. But when you record something, it goes through airway. So you hear what other people are hearing. Right. And you can't believe that that's what they hear and you go, no, no, <laughs> yeah, that's so bad. <laughs> but I think we've got used to it now, though, with the filming and stuff yes, as well. Yes. You get used to it, but yeah, I yeah. catch myself, like, especially after yeah. I got back from Australia, yeah. when, you, like Laurie was talking about accents, and you slide back in, Into like, because I've been yes. here for 20 years, oh, I've wow, been a bit yes. more like English, yeah. but then I, I went so ocker when I got back from Australia, <laughs> swearing all the time, I was like, oh, oh. yeah, mate, you yeah, just got all names <laughs> all up in here. Like. <laughs> but it's the same, like, because I, when I work with students, um, one of the first things I ask them to do, apart from the breathing, the breathing is the first thing, but after that, in order to get them to engage with themselves, because what yeah. I find really bizarre is that people go and they do drama courses, I've got nothing against, that's perfect, <laughs> no problem at all, but they don't engage with themselves. So yeah. you practice in um, a vacuum and then you go on stage and you give something to the something to the audience yeah. and you don't know what you look like you don't know yeah. who you are so i do mirror work with my students and mirror work wow. is extremely um, um, powerful and it's the same thing if they've never done it before they take that mirror and they go oh, I, can't <laughs> I can't i can't do it and then they and it's a real thing yeah. Yeah. and so i do it Especially with my teenage What, well, did they never sing with the hairbrush in front of the mirror when they were a kid? No, honey, that was just you. Oh, that was, that was <laughs> just me. Totally me. Yeah, yeah. Bathroom, hairbrush, yeah. put acoustics in there. <laughs> of course, yeah. But I do it a lot with, with especially with younger, yeah. younger students, you know, teenagers. They kind of like, because they want to hide. They yeah. don't want to be seen and they don't want to see themselves. And But even adults, you know, they don't really, I mean, 
Because when you look in a mirror and you do your hair or your makeup or even sing with a brush, <laughs> you're not actually looking at you. No. You're not. No. But I want them to look in their eyes yeah. and go, hello, this is who I am. Yeah. And this is very powerful and people can't do it. So it's a kind of similar thing. Yeah. It's, it's like we can't, you know how they say, your, your, what's it, the wind, your eyes are the window to the soul. soul. Yeah. It's, you can't look at it and you can't listen to it. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, yeah. And that makes me so crazy fascinated and I want yeah. to find out why people do yeah. Please leave comments about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you have talked about, we talked about this, about you actually writing a book on the topic and perhaps creating an online course as well. Yes, yes, yes. You are going to help me a little bit, aren't you? Yes, Please, thank you very much. Yes. Um, about <laughs> <laughs> how to do this. Yeah. And, and not necessarily only in a voice way, although of course mm. it must be that. Yeah. But to take it that step beyond the voice, you know, to take it that step further, that it yeah. really empowers you. It gives you the the thing, the qualities, the the confidence, the the wherewithal to be who you really are in the world when you speak to other people, and not to try and hide behind some kind of facade mm -hmm. or something. Because in fact. This is why we love reality television. You know, yeah. we want to see real stuff. We want to, this is how we learn about ourselves, yeah. is to see the reality in other people. We look at that, you know, you were talking about people being mirrors for each other. It's absolutely true. Yeah. You look at other people to see who you are, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And so people want reality, but for so long, I think, and maybe I'm wrong about this, I felt that people had a facade, a sort of yeah. like, well, this is my social, well, you guys have just said it, you know, mm. how we put stuff on when we, in different, you yeah. know, um, yeah. put, use different voices and be different. And I think that's so sad. I just want people to be who yeah, they really are themselves. all the time. Yeah. yeah. All the time. Yeah. So speaking of which, can we have a little taster, a bit more of a taster of that amazing singing voice before <laughs> we finish? <laughs> Darling, it's not warm though. It's just not a warm. Bit. Oh my goodness! What would you like me to sing? I don't know. What's what's in your repertoire? <laughs> oh, I'll send you. I'll, I can send you the MP3. You can put it under the video if yeah. you like. What shall we do? What shall we do? Um, I'll just channel something, darling. I'll do very. My voice isn't warm. If this doesn't work, you have to cut it out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I'm sitting down. Can we but, close our eyes to listen? You can. So um, you can find me on my website, angelinacalari.com. Um, I'm Angelina Calari on Pinterest, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. And we'll share all these links. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, so so and, someone can click below. And Twitter. But Twitter is Angelina Kalhari because there wasn't enough, enough, enough letters. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> flat on that. <laughs> I couldn't get the Y on the end, so I'm just going flat. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm Angelina Kalhari. My whole name. Maybe they changed it later or something. Oh, did they? Yeah. Bizarre. 
the ins and outs of social media. I can't have been on Twitter before you. You might. You might have been. I've been on Twitter for a while. I never use Twitter. I'm always on Instagram. I use all of them, depending on what I do, because I have all the books, and I'm going to do all this this series of non-fiction books. maybe some workshops. Workshops. Some workshops. Definitely workshops. <laughs> which we will um, definitely keep you updated with. Well, thank you very much. And I also have, obviously, the sound bath. Now, a lot of... Mm-hmm. I mentioned Adam Lambert, so some of the glampers will be watching this. So, um, yeah, the sound bath um, has all of Adam's blogs, vlogs, radio programmes is all on there. So amazing and we'll share all that with you as well <laughs> thank, thank you so yeah. much thank you for having me oh no it's been that was so pleasure. fun honour and a pleasure <laughs> and, and as we said viewers if there's any uh, comments you would like to make or anything you'd like to share with us or any yeah. suggestions of anything any topics or any guests you'd like to see on here I've just done it. You've done I've it. Just done Haven't it. you? Let's breathe then. Stop breathing. Squeeze, um, your, <laughs> squeeze your bum. <laughs> <laughs> breathing into the pelvic floor. <laughs> anyway, on that note, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Hi, thank you. <laughs>